Welcome to a lesson on the modulo operator. The modulo or mod operation returns the remainder when dividing. We will assume a and q and r are all non-negative integers for this lesson. We will discuss negative integers in the next lesson. Let's first review the division algorithm. Given any two integers a and b, we can always find an integer q such that a is equal to q times b plus r, where r the remainder is greater than or equal to zero and less than the absolute value of b. Given any two integers a and b, we can determine q and r by performing division, where a is a dividend, b is a divisor, q is a quotient, and r is a remainder. And since the modulo operator returns the remainder when dividing, we say a mod b is equal to r, where r is a remainder when a is divided by b. As an example, seven divided by three is equal to two with the remainder of one, which we can also express using the division algorithm as seven is equal to two times three plus one. Since the remainder is one, when seven is divided by three, we say seven mod three equals one. Let's look at some additional examples. We know that 10 divided by five is equal to two with the remainder of zero, which we can also express as two times five plus zero equals 10. This indicates 10 mod five is equal to zero because zero is a remainder when 10 is divided by five. 11 divided by five is equal to two with the remainder of one, which we can express as two times five plus one equals 11. This indicates 11 mod five equals one because one is a remainder when 11 is divided by five. 12 divided by five is equal to two remainder two, which indicates 12 mod five is equal to two. 13 divided by five is equal to two remainder three, which indicates 13 mod five is equal to three. And finally, 14 divided by five is equal to two remainder four, which indicates 14 mod five is equal to four. Four is a remainder when 14 is divided by five. For A mod 12, we can think of an analog clock if we replace 12 with a zero, which I've done here on the left. If it is nine o'clock, what time is it 10 hours later? Starting at nine o'clock, if we move ahead 10 hours, there's three, six, nine, and 10, it is now seven o'clock. This question is really asking, what is the sum of nine and 10 mod 12? Well, 19 mod 12 is equal to the remainder when 19 is divided by 12, which is seven. What is 15 mod 12? Using the clock, we would start at zero and move ahead 15 hours. So once around the clock would be 12 hours, and then three hours more brings us to three. 15 mod 12 is equal to three because three is a remainder when 15 is divided by 12. And what is 33 mod 12? This is equal to the remainder when 33 is divided by 12. Well, there are two 12s in 33. Two times 12 is 24, and 24 plus nine is equal to 33. 33 mod 12 is equal to nine. Let's look at some more examples on the next slide. First, we have 25 mod seven which is equal to the remainder when 25 is divided by seven. So 25 divided by seven. There are three sevens in 25. Three times seven is 21. We subtract. The remainder is four, which indicates 25 mod seven is equal to four. Next, we have 47 mod 12, which is equal to the remainder when 47 is divided by 12. There are three 12s in 47. Three times 12 is 36. We subtract. 47 minus 36 is 11. 46 divided by 12 is equal to three with the remainder of 11, which indicates 47 mod 12 is equal to 11. Next, we have 123 mod 10, which we should be able to recognize is gonna be equal to three because three is a remainder when 123 is divided by 10, but let's go ahead and show that. First, we ask how many 10s in 12? There's one, one times 10 is 10, we subtract. The difference is two, we bring down the three. Then determine how many 10s in 23, which is two. Two times 10 is 20, we subtract, and the remainder is three. Which verifies the result. And then finally, we have 48 mod 15, which is equal to the remainder when 483 is divided by 15. We first determine how many 15s in 48. There are three 15s in 48. Three times 15 is 45. 
we subtract. 48 minus 45 is 3. Bring down the last digit of 3. Determine how many 15s are in 33. There are two 15s in 33. 2 times 15 is 30. We subtract, and we can see the remainder is 3. 483 divided by 15 is equal to 32 with the remainder of 3, which indicates 483 mod 15 is equal to 3. I hope you found this helpful.